Okay, so this is Porta Reloaded for PlayStation 3. Uh, this port has taken me quite a long time to piece together for reasons we'll get into. Um, it's also not entirely feature complete. You'll see in a bit. Um, once it loads up here in a second. Okay, so there's a few complications I should mention. First of all, the um, main menu is not going to have the background. This is because for PC they used a 1440p video that the PlayStation 3 is simply not equipped to decode. Um, secondly, the progress bar is kind of broken. Thirdly, the menu is supposed to be different, but it's not. Um, this is because later updates for Portal 2 PS3 changed the menu to have this Six Sense in Motion DLC option. As a result, the menu files were updated entirely, so anything I put onto you know, the game itself is going to be overwritten by the Portal 2 updates. Uh, new game doesn't work. He gives me this Portal Stories Mel asset. This is not the only Portal Stories Mel asset we'll see. Um, and other than that, it doesn't really work. So what we have instead is something created by Relt in 2023 called Portal 2 Plugins, which if I hit triangle enough times, eventually will bring up the console. So we will just use this keyboard I plugged in to do map, SP, A1, PR, map, there's our one, and that should load it. <clears throat> also note, for this version of the game, the loading times are quite long, and that is not improved by my mod whatsoever. Um, so there's that. booted into. Um, right now what it's trying to do is load the wake up sequence from the first from the Portal 2 base game. This will not work because this map does not have the necessary uh, assets in place to do that. So we're just stuck in the void for a second while it considers what to do and eventually reloads. Now on the second load, it's going to disable scenes entirely, which means that the opening sequence, which in Portal Reloaded, if you don't know, is this wonderful little scene where you go through the uh, pneumatic tubes, uh, doesn't work. So instead we're presented with this screen, once we move it turns black. Uh, we have this Portal Stories Mel portal gun. Again, I have no idea where these assets are coming from. Uh, so let's just go ahead and sheet our way out real quick because that's the only way forward. Come on. Come on. There we go. <laughs> Sometimes it's a bit cumbersome. Alright. So now we will be able to go out a level where we'll see it's the sequence where you go up. Some props are broken. Uh, you go up, you go all around, and eventually it's not actually going to deposit you anywhere. This is just one sequence. The actual level is here. Um, you'll see here if we fly in, suddenly this exists. This is actually a separate scene entirely. Uh, you'll see here, see it's just got this orange texture on it. Uh, nowhere in relation to the actual uh, level. So we'll just use the portal here. Um, this sequence does not appear to work. Uh, hello. So we'll just go ahead and fly in here. Um, the portals work, except for the third one, which I don't think you can bind in this version. We are Chell with blue pants. Uh, I'm not sure if that's part of the mod, 
or not, to be honest. <laughs> uh, oh shoot. Keep accidentally pressing R2, uh, which is grab in this case, because I try to use some custom binds. Uh, that just opens on its own after a bit. Uh, everything else kind of works. A couple textures are broken, the map voice lines are broken, but the puzzles work, quote unquote. Uh, and we'll see here, it'll actually load the next map perfectly fine. Keyword load, it won't actually function properly. And I guess we aren't going out of no clip, so I'll just go ahead and uh, just. Oh. There we go. Please? Yes? There we go. Okay. <laughs> so, the reason I'm publishing what I've done so far, even though it isn't very impressive, is because I'm trying to document the tools that were used to do this. I'm trying to document what is currently known about the Portal 2 port. The problem with the console ports of Valve games specifically is that there is modding knowledge and there is a relatively vast amount of accomplishments um, but they keep getting buried over time so what will happen is for, what, for whatever reason a group will disband um, sorry and once that group disbands all of their knowledge is essentially void um, some of them do publish a couple things but what happens is that a lot of their knowledge was stuck with their in-group. They didn't want anyone else from using what they had figured out. This works too, by the way. Um, the uh, mechanic wherein you have a, poor, a cube in the past and present does not work. Um, but anyways, right. So there's a working port of this that was out here at some point. The creator of that left the scene uh, over six months ago, and as a result, all of his information was lost. I talked to him. He couldn't even tell me how he did it. He forgot. So, you know, we're stuck reverse engineering it again. So, my goal is to make it so that this information is public on a website. That website, I'm going to allow anyone to submit changes to, and I will change. I will update it at my discretion. So. At least everything I've figured out will be public for the rest of time. I forgot that doesn't work. Get down here. Okay. <laughs> this test is broken. Uh, but yeah, I want to put down as much information as I can. Is that the correct command? No, it's not. Awesome. Uh, <laughs> it's been a while uh, since I've used Portal 2 for anything. Um, so I want to essentially preserve the knowledge that I do have and try to get as much information as I can out in the public before eventually I'm going to not be around anymore, whether it be due to a lack of interest or because I can't or whatever happens. Um, I have designed this website uh, so that it's completely free for me to run. It's completely free for everyone else. Uh, what this means is that no matter how long I'm gone, everything that I learned is going to remain. So, in practice, what this is going to mean is that this website will be as long, will be up as long as GitHub Pages exists. Uh, oh, there's a method. GitHub Pages is a tool created by GitHub who is in turn owned by Microsoft. So, very, unli very unlikely that we will have a problem with them in any amount of time. Uh, so, hopefully everything that I learned will be somewhat present after, you know, I am not available anymore. And then hopefully someone a little bit smarter than I am can come along, use what I've learned to do something maybe a little bit more impressive than a half-working port or reloaded port, 
uh, with oh how would I do that here you locked me in with no escape oh I think I know what this is let's Let's hit it with the uh, no clip. Oh shoot, it's not working. Hang on. Alright. Okay, so. Well, there's a few things going on here. Here's the version of the test chamber that we just saw. Let's see here, it's going to have a portal here. This does not actually exist. You can see the orange texture uses the world portals uh, extensively. Let me just bind this so I need, don't need to keep doing this. I'm not sure if that's all necessary, but we're going to assume it is. Um, uh, so yeah, and the other thing is, if I'm going to link everything that I've been able to find in the description, and anything that I've forgotten, will be available on, what, these, oh, it's those, anything that I do find will be available on the website, I'm going to link some of the greater inspirations in the description too. Uh, again, this fucking game is broken, <laughs> so I can't actually solve this one legitimately. Very nice. Uh, and my no clip bind has just stopped working. Awesome. So, anyways, yeah, that's that's pretty much all I have to show. Um, it's not as exciting as I thought it was going to be, but, you know, these things happen. I don't have the knowledge to progress further than this, even though I'm very close. <laughs> we are so close to having, you know, more, more impressive mods like Portal Stories Mail working. It's just that they keep breaking for me and I can't figure out exactly why, which is just a wonderful experience. Uh... So yeah, uh, I'm going to link everything that I've learned so far, and you know, feel free to add any, any information you think is missing. I will do my best to try and keep the website maintained for as long as I can, but again, even if I die, this thing should still remain online. Uh, so, you know, good luck out there, make something great, and thank you for listening to my 15 minute long rant. <laughs> See ya.